Hi, everybody. Welcome back to week two of Camping Out. We have Miss Tawny with us today from Wildwood Creative. It's a quaint little store down on South Third Street. If you haven't been there, I highly suggest it. She is going to make a constellation craft with you today. But first, let's hear a bit, little bit about what you do, Tawny. So I um, opened Wildwood Creative a little over eight months ago, and we are a modern fabric store and a maker space. So before COVID, we were doing all kinds of classes and sewing, hand lettering, macrame, weaving. Um, I love bringing in other local artists to come kind of share their talents with everybody. And then I try to source a lot of what I sell locally as well. So I support a lot of local makers. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the gist of what we do. Yeah, I love it. Um, I've been peeking in the windows. Um, now that you're back open, it'll be fun to uh, come in and shop around. So I'm going to let you get busy and show that craft and I will join you at the end. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right, so we're going to be making um, a constellation, I don't know what to call it exactly, a constellation template for flashlight. So everything you need, if you need a flashlight, you will need um, the printout of the constellations. This is in a small scale, and then I believe there's also going to be a link um, to print this out as well. We'll need a pair of scissors, some tape, um, Glue stick, you have one. I didn't have one, so I make it work without a glue stick. And then some kind of cardboard, cardstock, just something that'll block the light out. So kind of read something you have in around. And then you'll need either um, like a push pin, a pin, just something to punch the holes um, for the little stars that we're going to make. So this is a really easy, simple thing to do. So all we're going to do is make out um, the circle of one of these constellations. So I'm going to start with the Taurus constellation. And um, constellations are pretty cool. If you look online, there's a lot of fun stories kind of about how the constellations were named um, and the technology behind them. So it's kind of fun to do the research and learn a little bit more about them. So you're just going to cut out little constellations and then get a piece of cardboard. So as you're first ready for this, um, you have a kind of those boxes laying around. I'm just, if you have a glue stick, you can go ahead and glue this on the cardboard. If you have glue, so I'm just going to use tape. Let's get onto the piece of board. We're just going to cut it out over the cardboard. You could also, if you have um, cardstock, you could also print these constellations directly onto the cardstock too. That would work. So I got my little constellation on top of my little piece of cardboard. And then I'm just going to use my push pin to punch through all the little holes. And we be very, very careful not to poke yourself. Um, but I find it helps to kind of spin it around in there um, to make sure you get a nice smooth hole where you punch it in through. So we're just going to do punch some holes in here. All right, and then now you can kind of see I've got all the little holes punched in there. So now this is just going to go right on top of my flashlight. And luckily my flashlight has this kind of richer, so the cardboard just kind of sits nicely in there. Um, just use some like masking paper scotch to keep it onto your flashlight. And then when you turn your flashlight on, you can see the little constellation. And then if you turn the lights up, you should be able to flashlight on your wall. And then you can see all of the different constellations on the wall. Um, so one thing I would maybe recommend is write down what the constellation is on here. So that way we can make them all cut out and keep track of them. Um, yeah, it's that easy. It's just a fun simple little craft. And then you can uh, study the stars and all the constellations. I love it. I think that that's going to be a lot of fun. We uh, 
have little consolation kits that they can make out of marshmallows um, with a different map than the one that you provided us. So oh, fun. Yeah, so those of you that didn't get uh, a, a s'mores kit yesterday, um, that's where the consolation uh, cutout would be. You can actually find that on rentinwa.gov backslash virtual. And Tawny has given us a printout of the nice, perfect circles that's going to fit right on top of your flashlight. So, all right. Well, Tawny, thank you for ha um, coming on. We're glad yeah, to have you. We have a couple more you. weeks. So if you think of something more fun and uh, something you'd like to share with our community, let us know. We'd love to have you back. I definitely will. Thank you so much for having me on. It was really fun. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.